Right? So I had these citrus sevens, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know what that I don't know what that means. That's the black ones with the orange and red. red. Right? Ooh. So they're just black kick suede, orange and red, right? Suede. Right? Okay. So the suede, they was older. You know, you bought it, you bought them back then you used to buy kicks off people, no matter how they look, just so you could be fresh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the suede was cooked. It was like powdery, it was brown, it was ashy. The suede was like coming off. But when you wet them, they was dark. You can't see the ashiness in them. You got to keep them moist. So I remember I put mass soap over them. <laughs> Dishwash the <this> soap. <laughs> Faded it. Just the, just so it could the... be dark. And I wet them. <laughs> Faded it, right? I went outside in the rain. <laughs> They started sudden up. <laughs> My boy had the soap sun seven. Every, every step I took was and <laughs> mad soap would come, would come out this side. Just and mad soap would just come out this side. Yo, I got so many embarrassing stories like that with high school. Like, I remember that arguing. nobody noticed. Yeah, I remember arguing with my mother. Because it was cold outside in September. This is when it used to be cold in September in New York. Yeah, it used to be brick in September before. <laughs> and I remember going to school with shorts, with shorts on, with jean shorts. <laughs> and it was freezing. And no thing, and I was just freezing the whole time. And I knew I fucked up because there was this guy we went to school with. He was Mexican. And he had shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> and if he was matching with him, he was like, yeah, I'm wilding out. I had the hoodie with the I'm shorts. I'm wilding because... The, my boy, he wore shorts no matter what weather it was. Nah, he's so when I seen him like that, he used to just have his <laughs> hands in his pocket all the time. And I see him like that, I was like, nah, I am tweaking. <laughs> yeah, I was awfully dressed. There was like lot 49 shorts in high school too. Like, damn, what lot 49 used to wear in, in high, high school. school. High school was crazy. Me and my sisters, we used to rotate clothes in high school. What do you mean rotate? Like, like this. I'll Share? take it. I'll borrow her shit, but my my older sister, my my older sister Melissa, she didn't like sharing. So I wouldn't either. Me and Maddie, what do you what do you mean? Why would I have I little sh- brothers. How how you don't like sharing? How? Me and Maddie, we make a good like we'll negotiate. We'll be like, yo, all right, you want to wear my jeans? Let me get this shirt. Let me wear this shirt. I get to wear this shirt whenever I want to wear it. And you do a little negotiation, but Melissa was like, nah, don't wear my shit. <laughs> I'll take Melissa was probably had her own different styles. And she was nah, she had different style. Y'all. We all wore he- Hollister. Well, she's like older. By, yeah, she's five years older. Yeah, that's just a lot. I'm six years older than my brother. And never, thank God I'm way bigger than all of them. I gave my brothers, both of my brothers, like a lot, a lot of sneakers in my lifetime. Yeah, but, but you didn't like, share with them. I had to be, no, that's what I was going to say. I had to be like completely done and like knew I was never going to wear this pair ever again. And then I'd be like, here, bro, you want these? He'll be so happy. Crazy. No, I just thought about something that I don't know if I should share. Then don't. Um, we can share. delete it. Nah, there was this one time. In band, band camp. camp. <laughs> <laughs> in band camp. Nah, there was this one time. Because, like, me and my sister, we lived in one room all together. Like, three of us in a fucking, in a room. Three grown Three women. Women. Like, I'm grown. <laughs> yeah, I was Hold grown. On. I didn't move out until I was 22. Yeah. But until then, it was three of us. Was grown. Three years grown. Yeah, and so one time. In one little ass room. It'd li- be like that, bro. We used to fit, t- we fit two full-size beds. One of them was a bunk bed. And then my little sister, she was fiending when we first got bunk beds to get the top bunk, and then she immediately regretted that shit. That's probably why she never wanted to share with y'all. No, no this my is... little sister would share. No, no, your oldest sister. She was like, I shared my entire life, personal yeah. space, and everything with y'all. I'm not giving y'all my clothes. She was, I'm not giving you that nah, shit, bro. Not the shirt off my back. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little, this is a little TMI, but one time I was on my older sister's bed, and I was, like, handling my ingrowns and, like, in my pubic area. and uh, Those are the worst. Those are the best. That's Ingrowns? a great segue for you. That's what I thought she was doing for me yeah. for a second. She's she doesn't not. even know. <laughs> she don't even know. I'm going to let you finish the story because I got one for you. Okay. So <laughs> I'm, I'm there on my sister's bed, naked, taking my ingrowns out. My little sister's in the room with me. She gets up, doesn't say anything, walks to the living room, go gets my older sister, come back, and she's like, look what she was doing on your bed. <laughs> Snitched on me. What? Snitched on me, bro. Didn't even say shit. That is bad hygiene. To I just got up. Though. I got up and I went on my bed. Like, 
<laughs> oh, so she caught you in the middle of it? Yeah. In the middle of plucking a ingro on the yeah. ship. Welcome oh. to That's Your Reality. I am your host, Chickla. And it's your girl, Maleni. And we got... Cabo the Creator and the ones and what? twos over there. What's shit? Yeah. What was the post for? Y'all because, forgot me? Nah, it's just... What's going on with y'all two? Like, you what? came in with the radio voice today and... It's your girl, Maleni. It was a little different than usual. Comment below if you heard a difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you learning, though. What you yeah. doing? Let me tell you this story before we get on a tangent. So, one, I blame you. What are you blaming me for? Because you've been talking recently on the recent pods about that I pass out often and shit. So I just knew it was destined to happen at least one more time. And that uh, was a recent pod, too. I, yeah, it was like two episodes ago. So it happened again. I'll be saying, this yo, is a different be experience. Don't, be careful, don't pass out. <laughs> yeah, when I'm laughing and shit, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't from laughing. I wish it was from laughing this time. Spider. She thought it was going to be a spider because I'm arachnophobic. But no, it wasn't a spider either. I feel like arachnophobia should be if you're scared of, like, raccoons. That does sound like that. <laughs> nah, everybody's scared of raccoons. Who's scared of raccoons? I'm yeah, scared. See what I'm Beasley. saying? Yeah, I'm on a tangent. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There's one time there was a raccoon. <laughs> 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 we saw it across, <laughs> across the street. And this shit, you know, the, I guess they know what a street is and know that cars come. Yeah, okay. Right? I, maybe because <laughs> across the street, it started running at us. <laughs> and we was talking about like, yo, imagine that raccoon starts chasing us. He's so tight, by the way. I know. Imagine that raccoon starts it's chasing us. Shit, and the shit looked at us and started chasing us, right? <laughs> He's like, give me your money, bitch. And my man <laughs> grabs <laughs> me and throws me behind him. <laughs> like a some cartoon shit. Yeah, get him. Get him, get him. He was running for, he did it out of fear. It wasn't like he was the brave one and tried to scare me. Mm. Like it was a joke. He threw me out of fear. <laughs> That starts a different relationship with your mans when you realize yeah. that he was scared and he grabbed me by both. I was skinny before. Uh-huh. And he was he way said, bigger than me. Yeah. And he went like this. Me and my me and my little sister, we used to <laughs> we used to practice. <laughs> <laughs> we used to practice like fearing that someone's gonna try to kidnap you and attack you. So you just start running randomly. So to see like who's gonna get like left. Shut the light off in the basement? No, no, no. We're outside. Like random, you just started running. Like, oh, somebody's trying to ca- kidnap you. You better run, bitch. I used to do stuff like that. Like, that's just, not a fun game. No, but play. I used to do stuff like that by myself. Like, just in case somebody was following me, I walk a different way home and get lost. <laughs> Switch it up. They don't know what block he's going. To he makes it easier for the kidnapper. He yeah. shows up at that door. I try to switch up. Lost. I don't know where I am. Or I'll start like talking to myself, <laughs> just in case somebody was watching me. Okay. 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 Wait, show. great show, wait, wait. So you was doing, um, you was taking out ingrowns in your sister's bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of ingrown, Kaba, Speak. don't you got a story? Speak. So you nah, know this, the, it is you crazy. You know the story already? I was just going to say, yeah. I told him the story literally uh, when you had left. I didn't even. Fake as fuck. He is, because he said he wasn't going to tell yeah. me. Yeah. And I didn't even I ask couldn't him. Hold it, I couldn't he hold it in. He opened up and have. started telling me. And I'm like, wait, this is a story? <laughs> Since you asked. I, had texted, I texted Cheeks the day before, which is yesterday. And I was like, yo, got a great story for you. I passed out. Like, I fainted. And he goes, you know, he starts going, was, was it spiders or whatever? He's like, mm-hmm. are you going to say it on the pod? I was like, yeah, I'm going to save it. But I couldn't save it. I told him. So I got an ingrown hair on the inside of my thigh. Like okay. Right next to like the private area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. When I sat down, it would be mad uncomfortable. I had it for like two days, maybe two and a half, almost three days. <laughs> I woke up and I'm like, that's it. Today's the day, whether it's ready or not, Here I'm I popping come. it. <laughs> you can't hide. Go inside the Get shower. Inside. I'm taking a steaming hot shower, letting my pores open up. Good, good, good. Massaging the area. You ready to squeeze? I was in there squeezing like. A motherfucker. How shit. big was that shit? Cause you squeeze that shit like if it was you was holding a hamburger. Well, you know. <laughs> it was like uh hold on, get back to the story. Nickel? So yeah, about a quarter like. Quarter? Yeah, like a quarter. So it's because it had I didn't know that it had got that big because of me. Like the where it was at, it was a constant like friction on it, sitting down, me trying to squeeze it, just inflaming it or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I come out. My aunt and my grandmother are also there, and they're like, yo, let us help you get it. I'm like, you know what? Y'all love that extraction shit? Let's do it. I'm, okay. <laughs> I didn't ask you this question earlier because I was saving okay. it. 
what type of clothing do you wear for your aunt to be by your genitals? I wear boxer briefs. You just I hold my shit oh, to the side. Chuck it into your Yeah. yeah it's yeah, not so. all the way up my thigh. Okay, okay. So she's there, she's trying to like find like the hair with the tweezers or whatever, I guess, to pull it out or whatever. She can't really find it. She's like, Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze this shit. I'm like, all right, go for it. So she starts squeezing it, and it was like, it was a lot of pain. I'm not going to lie. Like, on a scale of one to ten, like an eight and a half, nine. Mm. And ten is Ten to birth. me is like childbirth. Yeah, me too. This that's is crazy. no cap, Melanie. I'm what? not. His wasn't a ten. It was I'm eight, not, nine. I'm not. Eight, nine? That's like getting I never hit by the balls. I never experienced. No, no. That's like a six to me. Yeah, like really? five. Getting no, hit no, yeah, it hurts yeah. and shit, but it's not like the worst thing ever. Like, it hurts. Like, yeah. But for a very short amount of time. Okay. So... Yeah, obviously a 10 is a 10, but this is like the most I think I've ever felt in my life Okay. at one time. So I'm like, you know what? In my head, I start humming, you know, trying to just get my mind off of it while she's going. I'm like, even if I got to just tough it out for a couple extra seconds each time, let her do her thing because it's going to pop. <laughs> we there for like 20 minutes now. Oh, my God. And every time Nothing's she- coming out? Nah, not really. Every time she does it, I'm there like, it hurts so much that I'm holding my breath and turning red and like tight, tightening up and shit. <laughs> now that hurts, bro. Yeah, yeah. The shit, it was bad. I would have gave up. All of a always, sudden. I think it hurts more when someone else does it for you. I don't know. Yeah, because you can't really gauge when they're going to go more or whatever. Eventually, a little bit pops. Sh- shoots out blood. Sorry, it's graphic. No pus. She just shot out just blood uh-huh. all over her sweatpants. So I'm there and I'm like, damn, that's a lot of blood. That's crazy. Ah, oh, the room is spinning. <laughs> I was like, so I look at my grandma. I'm like, can you give me some water? She's like, yeah, you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's just, yeah. I take a couple of sips of the water. And in my head, I start having to talk to myself. And I'm like, here it goes. You're going to pass out in front of your grandmother. In front of your grandmother, you're going to pass out. And I'm like, all right, this is the plan. I'm going to tuck my head into the bend of my arm and put my head on the table. Like in school, you know, you put your head you down. you dabbing. So if I pass out, I'm going to wake up and just act like I put my head down for a little bit. Go to sleep. I couldn't avoid it. I passed out. I put my head down. I passed out. My vision came back. I was sitting in a different position. My head was no, it was no longer down on the table. I was sitting upright and they were staring at me horrified. They were like, what happened? What happened? So me, I knew already that it was coming. I was... I was like, oh, all right, I'm good. I'm good. I passed out. I told you I was going to pass out. I passed out. I don't know what triggered it, but I passed out. She's like, oh, my God, we were so worried. As she says that, I hear people, there's nobody else in the house. I hear people to the right, so I look to the right. They got the fire department in the house. <laughs> so now I'm starting to get worried. I'm like, how long was I out? <laughs> These guys already showed up to the house, came upstairs. <laughs> So she's like, yeah, he was out for a couple of minutes. I'm like, damn, you guys respond fast. <laughs> so they're there to check all the vitals. Everything's normal. Uh, they're like, you know, just go get it checked out or whatever. More of the story. I don't know what made me pass out. It could have been the blood. It could have been I didn't eat. It could have been the pain. It was one of those, but I felt like a bitch. <laughs> but it was not. Nah, it was really the funny part of the story. The way he said one of the ladies of the oh, fire oh, department. So, so shout out. I don't know if she listens. I, I think she does. She was. She was like, she came in. She's like, oh, you know, Mr. Gaba, I'm going to check you, this, this, and that. And then she's asking me, like, to recap what happened. So I told her everything. And she looked at my grandma. She goes, you know, women have a way more pain tolerance than men. It's a proven fact. I looked at her like, "Uh, yeah. It's a proven fact. (laughs) I looked at her like, I wanted an insult, but I was like, what am I going to say? I literally passed out. (laughs) Yo, so basically, he passed out because the pain was too much for him to handle. (laughs) That's what Cheeks is running with. What do you I, mean? That's my the only... doctor told me what? you shouldn't be trying to pop those. Okay. <laughs> on an empty stomach. On an empty stomach. It did did your doctor say that for real? Yeah, yeah. She was like, first of all, don't pop it. And she was like, whenever you're doing any of that stuff, you can't do that on an empty stomach. <laughs> mm, the inner thighs. Anything is that one involves of the worst. like pain. I didn't know it was gonna be that much pain, obviously. I'm not gonna How lie. Serious the is inner it? thighs is one of the worst. I had an ingrown Yo, that hair. That shit was so tender. On the end of my, it Did was you like, pass out? No. Okay. Then. It was like this, it was like this big. It wasn't even that big. But that bitch, like to get it, because the like hair is so thin. The hair is so thin. Is there. there like a sign like a science to why women can handle more pain? 
Yeah. We What's just the Paul science? says they bitches. trifling. No. What's up with you, bro? I'm a little concerned. God already knew he was gonna make y'all trifling, so he made y'all withstand a little more. You know what it oh, is? Oh no, maybe because we're trifling, so they have to withstand. Little, oh, here you go. You're pandering. You're a panda mm-hmm. bear. You know what it is? <laughs> is he gave y'all physical strength, but he gave us the endurance. Now I don't know what it is, but hundred percent, I feel like like we're not as strong as y'all, but we can take. I'm sure there's a woman stronger than me. I'm sure, but I could get stronger. But like us as a as a as a whole, you know, women as a whole compared to men as a whole, y'all y'all are stronger than us. I'm not a whole. You are. Yeah. I mean, you can just tell by the way, like we act when we get like a flu. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Not even just that. Like, like my baby. mother gets the flu, she's up, she cleans the house and everything. When I'm Pitch, old, you ain't never seen me sick. When Bitch, I, I don't get, get flu, sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I get the flu, after I know that it's done, I still need two more days to make sure that I'm okay. Yeah. Last That's time I, I got operate. last time I had a cold, they had to put IV in me. Who's IV? Who had to put IV on you? The IV I had in me when they came to the house and pumped me with fluids because Yeah. What the fuck was that? This motherfucker delusional. You don't remember nothing about me. No, ain't nobody coming to the house and do that shit. You know to you. me. I got fucking dyslexia, dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even remember what I had. <laughs> I ain't fucking asshole. <laughs> don't say it like that. That shit running your family. They gonna get that shit. That shit running me. The motherfucker already forget my, that shit. My fucking he memory pro- is awful. He probably awesome, got the bro. memory cards. <laughs> he don't know what he did with them. <laughs> I definitely they don't have the memory out. cards. <laughs> they took his shit out. <laughs> he got them shit. My shit that's missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got them just in his, under his fingernails. That's I don't know. I feel like the memory cards are so small. Like, <laughs> he got, he them, got shit. them shit under his tongue. <laughs> <He was trying. laughs> Yo, so what did y'all do in the past two weeks? Did, yo, you keep interrupting our lives to do this two week shit. Live together. What was, what was it's getting me after, tight. What was coming after them? Two, what was coming after I them? I felt lives? like I had a story. What story? I, you give a fuck about your story. You know how long it took me to get my shit off? <laughs> yo, IV is five, right? IV? I don't know who she is. Yeah, Stop yeah, trying yeah. to get me caught up. No. IV is four. Four? V5 is six. V5? V is five. Yeah, IV is four. So V5 is six? V5. VI <laughs> is six. V is five. V is five. Yeah. V one is six. V two all the way up to uh, eight. And well, you know so much about Roman numerals. Ten is eight. I took Latin when I Shout was Shout out my school. guy Roman from high school. He told me mad shit about them. No, he didn't. I took Latin in, in sixth grade. The fuck they got to do with Romans? <laughs> yeah, I took Latin. Pig Latin or regular Latin? Latin, Latin. You would have made a lot of money if you knew Pig Latin. What's the difference? Uchi, Uchi, a different language. What are you doing? It's pig line. Ah. Oh. I never passed out before. God forbid. You'll know when it's going to happen, I feel like. You, it gets dizzy? Like you now, just, I mean, you clearly had a whole pep talk in bet- before y'all passed f- out. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why it was like, it was such like a vivid experience that the second it started happening again, I was like, I know where this is going. Either I'm not going to pass out or I'm going to pass out. So I was like, I don't know how to fight that's it. That's how life works. What? The fuck? What the? Whole, yeah, I knew I was gonna pass out because I either was or I'm I wasn't. talking about in that situation <laughs> when the, when the fuck? room is spinning. It's like all right, I can either find a way to get it to stop spinning, or I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, it's like a time. I stopped myself on, from man. having a seizure. How do you know that? Because I felt like I was gonna have one and I didn't. You Stopped ever ha- it. You ever had one? No. So how do you know that you felt like you were gonna have one? Because my body on this side was going like this, like it felt like it was shaking. Yeah, but that could be like stress and stuff. This like motherfucker. Fatigue, <laughs> lack of sleep. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> you guys don't Many different in... things. Your muscle, like a little yeah. spasm of your muscle. That could have been it, but the power of <laughs> the mind, it? I stopped it. Okay. Because you know why? How I know it was? Because I think our minds are so smart that it told me, yo, bro, you're catching a seizure. But that's what mine told me. It didn't tell me the solution, though. It was like, yo, bro, you about to pass out. And I fumbled it. You fumbled it or you... No, I fumbled it. What did you... So you catch a seizure. I fumbled it. Oh. Okay. okay. You caught it and dropped it? Okay. Yeah. You know, y'all were talking about sneakers. Y'all talking about fumbling and using these terms in ways that I just don't understand. So let's talk about something you want to talk about. What did you do in the last two weeks that you told <coughs> Nothing. That she wants to tell us so I bad. I did a lot of things. I went to a women empowerment event. Boo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Y'all mad, wow. Sorry. Yeah, he cheered you <laughs> on. Yo, you was the one that started him up with it. <laughs> he cheered you on. He said, boo. I thought he said, boo. No, he I said, woo. That was not sound he like a woo. He said, boo, and it washed mine out. So it's not like we both were boo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought y'all was doing. But we did this thing where you pick a. Uh, I get that at a fortune cookie. That's wag, boo. <laughs> where you go and you. Pick up. I actually got the same one that I got you pick that up day. Your order and you get one pick of those. One. Okay. Oh. I love being a woman. Me too. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It said, what would you like to be known slash remembered for? This is my question. Okay. And I would like to be known and remembered for um, the light that I bring, the energy that I emulate, and how many people I inspired. You see, like, <laughs> I want to be known for, like... I want to be known for my see, impact. See, when you started talking, I just started zoning you out. Like, what the fuck is you saying over there? We need some, like, cool questions. Like, yo, if you had a choice to how to die, what would it be? My shit would Check be... what the fuck you That got. I went skydiving and a helicopter flew under me and I got... <laughs> you would like to go tragically? Coolly. <laughs> That's not coolly. That's <laughs> tragically, bro. Motherfuckers can't even get your body. What What is the kindest act you ever done? Probably acted like I loved you. <laughs> What's up with you? Sorry, sorry. Hey, this motherfucker said we gonna do something calm. I ain't asked he, once. His jokes are you just You ain't asked once? No, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hold on, real quick. My fault. I've been... I love women. Love Women's Month. Everything about it is almost over. Um, and I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! I wish they had. I wish they doubled up. It's sad. I like this. I love you with all my heart. Thank I was just. You. I got. I got so caught into the podcast version of me that mm -hmm. it started to become real for me. I see, but it's not real. Oh, okay, okay, God. right? Yeah, I was just like, it's not real. Bro. You know, I'm These sorry. Jokes you are hurting me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you passed no, out. Man. There's nothing bitch about that. That's the manliest shit you probably done. Because being What's able saying? to pass out in front of your grandmother is manly tuned. as fuck. I'm in tune. Like, and when I woke up, <laughs> I gave her a hug, and I was like, "Don't worry about me. Worry about you." <laughs> she gotta worry. Yo, what about if you, you? woke up and she would have been like, "Sada, sada." <laughs> <laughs> they, yo, imagine I would have woke up and they were like burying me in some shit. <laughs> <laughs> the dirt hitting my face she woke me up. Woke up and they, yeah. they thought and they killed them and they was burying you. That's so funny. That is funny. What is the kindest <laughs> thing you have ever done? I'm gonna pick another one. Okay. I feel like I've done so many kind shit that it's hard to choose from. I don't I think you can't figure one out. You don't think I'm kind you think I'm kind, right? Kindish? Yeah. <laughs> I kinda think you do kind. kind things. No, you do kind things. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, think about this. If there's a lady selling water or a man selling water, I buy the water and it's a twenty, I give them the whole twenty. That's those, pretty nice. Those are the kind things I you usually pay for like it. Hundred dollars. Like, hey, hold it. I don't if want to. If I have a hundred dollar bill, I'll here you go. Yeah. I donate. What else did I do in my two? I do like Stop. mad kinds. Wait, you tell me Stop. to rate this. If you could pick up a new skill in an instant, what would it be? To fly. Yeah. That's not a real skill, though. It didn't say real skill. It said pick a skill. I picked that one. To teleport. Is it a skill, though? <laughs> Look how fast he folded. <laughs> Am I real nah, quick? If it was a skill, um, bilingual. To be to, to be able to like have multiple languages? Yeah, but both bi is two. So you mean like all of them? I just, nah, just want to learn one. I only know one. That'd be fire to learn all of them, though. Just I want to learn one that I they don't understand. They said pick understand. up a new skill. I feel like an, each language is a new skill. You I want to. I want to. I want to know how to like. I'm gonna pick one for you. Drive a plane, like a little plane. Don't drive a plane, dumbass. Fly a plane. <laughs> you never go learn well, that. I feel like drive yeah, a plane. I don't feel like you're you ain't never gonna learn that shit. Flying a plane. You're gonna be more like skateboarding. You're gonna be more conductor vibe. <laughs> you could do the L-I-R-R. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Did, laughs> you're a liar. Take the tickets. I like that. What are the top three items on your bucket list? That's for you. Uh, a bucket hat. <laughs> uh, a sand bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Can we uh, come back to me for the other two? No, What's really on your you bucket don't know, list? Like items, like something you really oh, want. Oh, like I want, do. like a, a personal item or no, something I want to do. Says. 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. Your items, I, I gotta think. I don't okay, you okay, know what okay. items you want. So like, like if you wanted a pair of shoes or a bag. Yeah. Or before I die, I don't care about that. It stuff doesn't before say I before die. you die. It's a bucket list. It's stuff you want to cross off before you die. You telling me you don't wouldn't want like a like a, a G wagon before you die? Uh, maybe like a. You know, it's not that hard. We talk about it every time we throw. I want. We want a billion dollars in the lottery. What are I, you talking about right now? I want that Lamborghini yacht that Conor McGregor got. I think that's the flyest thing on earth. This shit on the back should be like, yo, at least on the back should say, be realistic. Motherfucker said a Lamborghini. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now my shit is a G said, wagon. Ah. What's that's realistic. A G wagon, realistic. A Lamborghini I don't want yacht. It. Before I die, though, I want to dream bigger than you. Don't be mad because I dream bigger than you before I die. All right. What do you like you to do for of... fun? I like to argue with this fuckhead. Ah, you, yeah. For fun? <laughs> what else would I do if I don't get paid for it? So, so I could school you. <laughs> I'm like your. <laughs> I'm like you know like those people that they play their masters all the time and they can't wait to beat them. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Where he, oh, that's like, it, just waiting for the day he wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get one argument. Like karate kid. I'm, I'm your sensei. Yo. Oh my god, you want to know something? I went to a dinner to celebrate a friend's birthday, and she had a whole pre. Shout out Dominique, happy birthday! Shout out to the Aries. Shout out, they Aries. out here killing the birthday experience. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, that's true. They killing back to it back. back to back, right? So my friend has a a presentation, a private walkthrough on the edge, and then you have dinner on the edge in the city. That's on one. this day, I see clearly. And so I'm sitting there and I'm talking about the map and like, oh, Queens is this way. And I was like, oh my god, you can see JFK. Like that's JFK <laughs> over there. Yeah, I see her. But wait, wait, wait. There's a reason for. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Something. I know. So I seen her story of her posting mad buildings, and I was like, go look again. I'm flicking the lights. <laughs> <laughs> see if you see me. I if could. You see me. I could. <laughs> <laughs> From Manhattan to Queens. No, you could see that far. The only reason. Yeah, but I don't think you could have shown me flicking. Not, I could have seen you flicking. Not with the clarity to. Damn, bro. Oh, yeah. You think you could be a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> A little turbulence. No, nah, you could see if I could see JFK, yeah. I would be able to see our, the light in our apartment. The only reason we can't see it is because of that park. It's because after everything, oh, after like, that's, Forest what, that's park, what we were saying. Eventually, at some point, there's going to be a building in the way mm, to see and it. the park is yeah. in our way. Trees. Or so, some anyways, I'm telling, I'm informing everyone about the way it is, and one of um, Dominique's friends. He's like, oh, that's Uptown that way. I said, that's not Uptown. He said, yeah, Uptown's here. There's Downtown's there? right here. Yes, there's other men there, dumbass. So why wasn't I there? Because you wanted you to be a bitch. Act. <laughs> Continue. Anyway, <laughs> so I tell him, I'm like, nah, bro. Queens is that way. And then he realizes. He's like, oh, you right. What? I was, someone told me I was right. Oh, I thought he started wilding. Nah, 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 nah. I was like, why did he nah. do that? But my friend Dominique was like, wait, wait, wait. You said she was right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what I do out here. And then, then they asked me if if you, if it be like that with you. And I'm like, Chico's the only person that actually, uh, <laughs> he, be, he be right. <laughs> He's the only person I can't get to say I was right. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm the only person. I was one person, and this is why you're this excited, that said you was right. There's probably nobody other else in the planet universe, Millennium being right. Millennium's always right. So then why you can't get me to admit you was right? Exactly. No, but I had a walk homeboy through. Like, I had a... Me being wrong is so tough. Through. You're The only time, there was only one time I had, like... We told the story. Remembered having Chicle, like, oh, you right? And I literally had to walk him through. Like, you have to walk him through. We don't got to talk about... You You don't have to bring about trauma. Oh, I'm sorry. This is, trauma, to be, this is your character <laughs> flaws. This motherfucker said my trauma. You're triggering me right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot one thing that I learned in the past two weeks. We learned it. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's a lesson Nah, time. this is. As much as I was right in that moment, this was a moment where I was wrong. I've been using manipulating wrong. Cheers, 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 cheers. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> No, 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 because this part is supposed to be very lovely, yeah. right? And when she, when I knew she was going to bring this up, I'm like, this is where it all goes downhill. Not, not in a bad way. So we had a whole therapy session 
actual an actual therapy session and i'm telling i say like yo that's manipulating or something that he says and my therapist is like yeah i don't think you're using manipulation wrong and i, I mean right and i said <clears throat> okay if anybody knows is a the therapist yeah that's not what that's what happened, but you know, the story's a little funky. I can say exactly what I said. Now, imagine I have to. <laughs> that ass though. Nah, because you know what I realized? So this is what I consider manipulation. If you take a narrative, if you, if something, if I do something, right, and you turn what I did into something else to benefit how you feel, I'm saying you're manipulating. Mm -mm. I just see. That's an opportunist. No, no, no. But no. I see. I feel like that's a manipulator because you're manipulating. An opportunist doesn't do anything to the situation, but take advantage once the situation is set. So the manipulator will be the one trying to make the situation a certain way for their benefit. See, I have trouble though listening to the way Maleni explains what she thinks is manipulating. When, when she called me manipulator, that was not what happened. That's why when she's been saying what her happened. version of it, I'll be like. But that wasn't what was happening at that moment. So I was super shocked too because I was complaining on that therapist shit. I was like, yo, I just feel like, like I'm not even human. Everything I say is manipulation. Everything I do is narcissism and or, or childhood trauma. I was that's what I was complaining. So then when it finally came up with, I'll go to speak. And she goes, Melanie goes, You're manipulating. And she was like, that's not manipulation. And then he's like, that's not manipulating? She goes, no. <laughs> he's just saying how he feels. Mm -hmm. That's how she responded. And I was like, yeah, I'm just saying how I feel. <laughs> Yo, I hate when that, but we, that's we one always thing. say that on the pod, that we always use these like key words and society is just giving them almost different meanings to where it's kind of blurred and we don't even know. I remember in your house, we had a whole argument over if it's better to be a narcissist or humble. Neither. People in society are now like, yo, you should be a narcissist. Don't be humble. Humble's bad. Yeah, I agree. It's because they changed the kind of what humble is supposed to be. Mm. I don't agree with being humble and I don't agree with not but that with narcissism. But that's where like it goes to show how we've been using wrongs because of the words wrong because the way we perceive things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like I was telling my I'm gonna just use her for example, even though I have instance too, but since we're talking about her, let's just keep it on her. Mm -hmm. No, um, you can talk about yourself, bitch. I, I view Malay as a manipulator. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but the therapist told me I was wrong for the way I used it, right? Imagine how many incidents I hated Maleni because she was manipulating me. So now I have this, because manipulating is bad. So now I have this version of her in my head that she's... Constantly manipulating. Constantly manipulating. She's such a manipulator. And that was in never true. So imagine how many things I've ruined and times I've ruined and moments I've ruined and, 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 and moving forward and stuff because I had this... Perception of me? Of you, you, you in my head. Was, yeah, you thought something was going on, but... And it, and it was wrong. Yeah. Right? And I, like I said, I use that as an example, but I've had those moments too with... Uh, my, my version of manipulation was... Um, and I used it on myself... I didn't want to do things the way Melanie wanted me to do it because if I thought I did it the way she wanted me to do it, I was being a manipulator. Yeah, you told me that on the phone. I still don't understand what that means, but he elaborated it, and I was like, damn. You were, like, really deep into, so, into both of you guys of who's manipulating who when it was nobody well, manipulating Well, no, I was talking about me manipulating. I, was in, I never thought she was a manipulator at that moment. I do think she's a manipulator. But I'll be manipulated. And I use no, it. Wait, wait, if so, I'm a manipulator, I think you, if, I, if I'm described as a manipulator, it would be in the same sense in the wrong de de definition. No, in the right definition. No, in the wrong definition. Well, would, well, it depends on what the definition is. The, the definition of a manipulator is... No, um, I mean like in, in terms of what he, why he was calling you that. I thought, I don't know because I don't manipulate. I, I gaslight sometimes. See, sure. I don't know, because I got to go find out what gaslight act. That's the therapist. What does gaslight even mean? Yeah, I'm going to go. No, my next session, was, I'm going to go through all go the through definitions. Just go through the words, yeah. And be like, but, <laughs> so that I could better. Like, yeah, these are the so words that me and my attack. friends are throwing around on each other. <laughs> Bro, but it's so bad, because even in the comments when you read stuff about Melanie or, it's mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Melanie or Kaba. Oh, wait, yeah. Fuck y'all bitches. Because y'all was over here agreeing with this shit, and y'all was wrong. 
So that's my point, though. Like, oh, everybody that was, ta- but we knew that. <laughs> no, don't sorry, do that. sorry, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> but, my but that's my point. Is like I dead started to feel crazy. Yeah. Because I'm like, how am I? I'm just saying what I felt at that moment. Like, not even with the extra shit that you know we witnessed on the ship. That was me out of frustration. Reacts the way I react, right? Because I'm like, how is this wrong too? Right? Yeah, because so, you feel like, all right, maybe I'm saying it. It's coming across differently. So I just started to feel nuts, and then to realize, like, oh, okay, I wasn't doing that. No, you're not a, you're not a, you're not any of these things. No, I'm that's not. not what she said. Yeah, that's not what. In the, my head, that's what she said. That's not what she said. <laughs> right? you, try, you see what he's trying to do? I stop. Oh I stop. yeah, but the therapist told me I'm not a manipulator. You, say, ah, you got the she definition said, wrong, so I don't be manipulating yeah, she said at all. That one time, because I do see, I do see where. Uh, I mean, yeah, she be calling me a narcissist. What Trying to think? see. <laughs> what do you think? Am I that? <laughs> but I do think, like, yo, if you haven't looked up manipulators and narcissism, it's like brothers. Awful. Oh, I thought you meant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're both, no, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. they're like awful. Like, if you. I need to see. I need to see. If you date a narcissist, you gotta, remember, you gotta remember back in the day. But think about it. Wait, wait. Tell me. Well, my fault, my fault. But it's for you to speak, though. Mm. Tell me your definition of those two words. I forgot what you said. Oh, they're personality disorders. Yeah. Per, I, I was telling him, he was like, all these <laughs> words, he was like, they're, they're such bad words. And I was like, yeah, because if you think about it, back in the day, the vocabulary and the extensive dictionary that we have now and everything wasn't a thing. It was less words. And those words were described for personality disorders only. They weren't, people weren't just going out in public and just calling each other. Hey, you only things. thought about yourself. No, if you were diagnosed <laughs> with some of those things, those are personality disorders or personality character traits that were leading to some un- other mental illness. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, we got a little deep there, but yeah, it's crazy. No, but, but that's why those words have such a bad stigma. And I get we're trying to spin it now. Because we see all a lot of people have these traits, but it's not good. But I think I do. I do think in terms of like narcissistic, like being narcissistic. I think when I don't think like to be a narcissist, that's a disorder, right? Yes. But I do think that when we get angry, when people like humans get angry, those are just the traits. We have the tra- yeah, exactly yeah. See, some that, of those traits. But that's I think I didn't agree with it because I, if you have, if I have a cough. It doesn't mean I have a fever, but oh, but that look, cough yeah, is exactly, fever. But you're yeah, coughing. But you can't. Yeah, but that's not and, a narcissist. And coughing, coughing is a sign of co- sickness. Coughing is not but a. But you flu. don't necessarily have a flu. But you don't call it a flu. But you trait. can have nurse narcissistic you, traits and not be a narcissist. That's, yeah. See, that makes no sense to me because but, if you look at other stuff, like let's say if we did happiness and everything that y'all saying is narcissistic, oh, okay, it's under happiness. Why do I have to be like that? Doesn't even make sense. Well, they'll say like, okay, I'll give you. Uh, most serial killers have been diagnosed being sociopaths yeah, and yeah. introverts. I'm an introvert. I'm never gonna wind up being a serial killer. But that's what I'm saying. But nobody calls you a serial killer. That's but, my point. No, but I'm saying certain things don't only lead to one pathway. So you wouldn't label that certain behavior as serial killer trait. Exactly. So you're agreeing with me? Yeah. <laughs> We're agreeing with no, you. No, you're no, not. I'm, no, yes, no, no. Yeah. I'm, yes, agree- I'm, I'm agreeing that you can label, uh, you can have a trait of something, but it wouldn't make you that. I could be greedy. So you think you have a serial killer trait? No, no, no. So I, exactly. So you can't have a narcissistic trait, but, have a, but not be, that's what I'm saying. I think you can. No, you're saying introvert is serial killers. Have it, they're introverted. Mm-hmm, so that, then if so, I go, you're introvert, you have a serial killer trait. Yeah, but I'm not a serial killer. But you don't have a serial killer trait. You're just an introvert. No, no, but I'm saying I wouldn't label it as that. But if you were to label it as that, I would just be like, yeah, I'm not a serial killer. Just like I would say, yeah, but I'm not a narcissist. That would be that 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 to me is dumb that to to just be like, yeah, I'm not that. No, why the fuck are you calling like me that? That's nothing has, to do with it. That's like nowadays is a perfect example. Nowadays, everybody has mood swings. Yeah. Where does that stem from? What is that a sign of? Bipolar. Exactly. So you're not going to automatically, oh, because this person has a mood swing, and be like, oh, they're a schizo or they're, uh, uh, you know, have bipolar disorder. You can't automatically assume that. But hey, the way that they do have mood swings, it is like a bipolar trait, mm-hmm. but you can't really give them that. You don't have the, like, we don't have the power to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the narcissistic trait is what? You care about your... It, 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 oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's when the definition is screwed. I'm saying like in the not, like in the world we live in, right? If I am arguing for me in an argument, 
Mm-hmm. You're narcissistic. And that's where manipulation and narcissism, I think, came from with all these conversations that I was arguing for me. And I, since I didn't see where you was coming from, which I think in some conversations, I'm not there yet to see where you're coming from because I'm the one coming from somewhere. Why do I have to view your half at this moment while I'm talking? Mm-hmm. Get me if I'm the one that brings the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the disruption, you know, that goes, hey, this is the problem I have. Yeah, I presented the issue. Let me speak and get me first before I have to sit here and get you. Vice versa, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think when people say manipulation, because that's the way she uses it, and narcissistic is actually the same definition with the way you use it, correct? What? Like, what's the difference between narcissism and manipulator to you? Narcissism and a manipulator? That, what's the difference? To you. To me? So the difference to me between narcissism and manipulator, um, manipulate a uh, narcissism ha- um, manipulates, but um, a manipulator isn't necessarily a narcissist. Yeah. What the I, fuck is the difference? So like a narcissist <laughs> in his repertoire of shit, he can manipulate. Okay, I understand. That's not what I. Have. But not all manipulators. And has no compassion. Not all manipulators are. Uh, narcissistic. narcissistic, right? Mm-hmm. When I see no compassion from somebody, I will label you as a narcissist. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard for me even to give a definition for it in my own words because, like, I could give. But then you again, examples. I could be wrong. Like, you I know you are wrong. <laughs> I, like, I could give you examples of it, but it's like it, I don't like. You know why I have a hard time dealing with it? One because it gets used a lot with me, right? So I, have a hard I feel time. like it's also not a pinpoint thing; it's a behavior thing. So it could be multiple things, right? No, but it I is. Think you're, I mean, I think it's you're not. Right but that's it. what she means by traits. If you have no compassion, oh shit, that's narcissism, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't meet all the checks, yeah. but you have one trait. Yeah, but that also one trait is also for confidence. Oh no, but it's this one. That's where I have the issue with, and that's why I'm bringing it up. Like when you being a good person, I don't point out you being a good person, but let you act up, and you're a narcissist. Okay, but I mm. then what if I go? But I did this and this. What narcissism? Narcissists don't do this. Oh yeah, but you have the traits. You did the one thing that they 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 do, so you you now labeled as one. I don't know. Like, no, but I I mean I'm not supposed to be. You're not really supposed to be labeling. No, um, but that that was my biggest thing is. That's why I said back in the day, those were only terms used by doctors to diagnose people. Yeah, my therapist. And now we just, you know, that's just who we are. My therapist gave me this uh, exercise and like. You haven't been using it. (laughs) What's it for your memory? I could use that shit. No, the exercise was uh, when you're in an argument or like you're talking to somebody, only state I statements. From only only speak from your point of view. Only speak from what you feel. I feel. Okay. Only speak from that. When you're saying like, "Oh, you did this," so, you already lost. So. You already lost. And then when so like I feel like I communicate pretty well, mm-hmm. right? But then she gave me that assignment, and I realized like, "Oh shit, Melanie, you're actually attacking more than I thought I was." I want to give y'all that homework. When y'all feel something, only say, I feel. If you have a problem with someone doing something, only say, I feel. Do not attack them. Don't don't be like, oh, you did this, and that made me feel like this. No, 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 no. I've been feeling overwhelmed recently. I just wanted to express that. No, I agree with that 100%. I feel like we just, this is how I be feeling sometimes. I feel like we learn lessons at different points in our life. And when you don't learn it, it gets brought up later in a different way and presented in a different way. Mm -hmm. Because I do feel like all three of us have learned that lesson already. Mm -hmm. Would you say you have learned that? Um, About... Uh, I, you know I'm technical, so when you say learned and I didn't learn it, then I'll say no. Oh, like we, <laughs> but <laughs> I know what you're yeah, saying. I, what I you didn't say. learn it either because yeah. I haven't like conquered it or saying. whatever. But I'm aware of it. I'm not. A, I wasn't too aware of the the second part. Like I was about to already disagree with her. Said like I feel overwhelmed, and you can't say because you did this, mm-hmm. right? Like that's tough, <laughs> and that's real tough. Is I feel overwhelmed with this situation. It's mm-hmm. not something you did. It's you're explaining what happened, I guess. By the way, can we hold on to this conversation? I want to go real quick. My little 
jump I just did about the words and shit like that, that's not just for me. Like, it ruins me to think that's manipulating when it's not. You know, like, you now have this anger and shit towards people, and it's not even real the whole time. So you, me yeah. and myself put perceptions and stuff on people, and I'm ruining myself the whole time because goes, it wasn't even right. That goes mm-hmm. into what she was saying with... Uh, that you, that you literally just said that I was asking if he had learned it where you can you literally only should speak for yourself like your own point of view I love speaking for myself and the the way that I got to what I said before about like we've learned it before is because the first thing that popped in my head when she said that is I know this but I never heard it like this and I know this from you had went to some uh, thing in the past and you had told me about people create stories mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was like alright that's what I see okay we create these stories in our head and every type of scenario that we think of just playing different outcomes and really don't even have all the information which is why you can only speak from your point of view yeah but the reason for that i shit is so you guys could attack the problem and not each other Mm -hmm. so that's the reason for i i was overwhelmed with this focus on situation and not attacking you we're attacking the situation the Mm -hmm. problem i you know, you never say you because then you're attacking the person. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, what if, you know what you say with stories? What if that never, in my head, was my intention? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even do that in my head. You know, but you you saw, oh, you pushed me. No, I actually tripped. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And fell Bumped into, into you. you. But, no, oh, what the fuck you pushing me for? Da, 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 you a dumbass. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. rather than, wait, I feel like you pushed me. Mm-hmm. No, actually, I tripped. You know what I'm saying? That's what the, the point of that was. But I think it also made me aware of I'm just blaming you, dude. Mm-hmm. Not you. I'm saying No, no, yeah. That's general. exactly what I'm about to say. I, that was how like I would say something, particularly to, to Chicle, and I'll be confused on his reaction on why he's getting attacked. Like why are you fucking getting defensive? I ain't say nothing wrong other than what I'm feeling yeah. and what is happening to me. This isn't for you to feel attacked. And then I realized when I got the exercise, I'm like, oh, bitch, you really are attacking more often than you think you are. Because yeah, it's your we truth. Do, yeah, we do. Because uh, our thing is, I'm going to tell you how I feel, but I'm also going to tell you why I feel like yeah, that. And what why you I did, feel like it is because of what, what you, you did. did. So we automatically throw it in. Mine is worse. Yeah, but you know, because you... you A narcissist. You, <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know if you are anymore. No, no, I got it. I got it. My therapist said no name calling Melanie. Because mine is worse than that. Mine, I would not attack the problem and I won't attack. I just attack the person's intelligence. Yeah, you do that one. That shit like, yo, what feeling. time is it? Oh, I have to tell you again? Didn't I not just tell you five minutes ago? It's five minutes after the time I just said it was. Just when is tell it me win? the fucking time, bro. That's what I do. Just tell me the no, time. Oh, how do you feel? I feel the same way I felt three minutes ago. Like, I, I'm you know, that person. I like, do that also. And I, the only shit that I realize now is because I'm also a logical, mathematical person in my head. So if I say some, if I say some, hold Doctor, on. Doctor, what's his name? Strange. <laughs> <laughs> so if I get to the point that like he's saying, I would just go back and right away just be like, would it have taken me more syllables, less syllables to yeah. say 1042 uh-huh. than me saying, why can't you just go over and look at the microwave? Yeah. It's like, it's passive aggressive. Because then I'd be like, yo, I even compromised well, we on have, myself. We're not leaving the label up to you. <laughs> Come on, that one's, that one's, that one's accurate. No, no, I'm no. Mine, st- I need to stop but that's what I was gonna say. Mine is not passive aggressive. Mine is aggressive. It's not passive aggressive. Mine is aggressive. Because okay. I start saying, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're like, right. couldn't you just look at the fucking time yourself? Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah. I found. He throws the bike away fucked up. I got a long way to go. So I've now come to like an a agreement with myself. I will tell you what time it is with an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so when you be like, oh, what is It's fucking 1042, bro. Stop why asking y'all always, me. Yo, I got an attitude. Because when I'm over here thinking about how I'm going to take over the world, stop asking me stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, how much time? I, then when you bring up time, it's like, wait, you're you, right. You're it's 1042. I got less time than I when I started thinking you, about this shit. you supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to. It's already 1042. That's when you start noticing shit. It was just six. <laughs> That's fact. <laughs> That's fact. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm heated. <laughs> Yo. I mean, you supposed to take over the world and you spazzing about oh, the time, bro? Shit. 
Yeah, when I take over, that shit not gonna matter. You over here worrying about shit that don't matter. <laughs> yeah, what time. I'm saying is, it's not gonna be easy to take over the world. You over here is pressing about the fucking time. Who are you to judge? <laughs> time Jesus. is a human-made construct, man. Time. Time. Yeah. Cuánto tiempo es this? And. And. Oh. <laughs> because since we're learning and we're talking about the past, this is all in the past two weeks, mm-hmm. right? I told I told you over the phone my little selfish, stupid shit that I learned about me. Which um, was? That I wanted Melanie to come out with me, but it, we was mad at each other, so I didn't tell her to come out with me, so I left anyways. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I, my boy was like, yo, you got to be selfish sometimes. I was like, the fuck is me saying come out with me selfish? He's like, because that's what you want. Yeah. So just say it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, wait, I want to spend time. I should have asked her out since I've been complaining that we don't spend time. <gasps> it would have cured my, it would have cured me. I, we should have sent that shit in through pillow talk. Wow, well, yeah. Now my fear, I have a fear of rejection. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so okay. I stop myself from doing so much stuff and then I get mad. You know, actually, if you guys tune in, we have or he recorded me talking about my Serbanness. And I say, and I explained it in there about how like my fear of rejection is. What? We curing that. One Traumas. day at a time. I got fear of abandonment. I got abandonment issues. I realized that. Oh, and you don't like band aids? Yeah. Abandonment. Yeah, I got abandonment issues. What mine's is? I don't know what mine's Bro, is. Just- Yo, I know. I you're the know. real narcissist. <laughs> Crazy, bro. I'm over here about to cry, about to open yeah, up. Yeah, no okay. compassion. We was all sharing. She's like, I did, yeah, but he I told shared. my story. I was going to share mine <laughs> now. No, I didn't. I know you don't know. You're narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not a narcissist. Nah, I, didn't I have, got some tendencies. My shit stems no, from yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, some tendencies. Wait, he's still going. He's still going. My bad. <laughs> I was throwing in details while y'all talk. <laughs> If you guys slowly rewind this and listen back, you can hear more details. <laughs> you would have heard it. You'll hear more details about my drama. <laughs> oh, shit. And then they're going to be like, look at them laughing at their pain and ignoring it while they just covering it up with laughs. Well, I am. I think that's <laughs> at least I'm aware of it now. I think New Yorkers, all New Yorkers do that, though. Like, seeing how many videos were made with the serial snuffer. <laughs> yo, oh, we yeah. had something else. Yeah. Like, I was dead ass walking. Scared as shit that someone was gonna fucking pop me mad fucking random and I was gonna have to square up and chase somebody well, down the street. It's only ca- to get my Caucasian back. women, I think. Nah, that shit didn't matter. There was some girls that look like me. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you look okay. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Little so it Jewish wasn't girl. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, the guy they've identified, I don't know if it was only him that kept doing that or if it was multiple people, they identified him. I'm gonna get back to you. Because now it's slipping my mind. But he's somebody famous as, like, grandson or That's nothing. what I saw. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find know, out. But Let's see. We should leave less stuff off the internet, right? Because you think, if the first girl that posted it, she had, like, 40 million views. Yeah. And now everybody else is just it's, like, babe, just punch me and act like we got No, hit. but I'm nah, saying, like, crazy. it might have riled up. We was going to do that. No. It might have. <laughs> you try to say, nah, that's crazy. You had an you idea for it. Like, what if you riled up other you. people to be like, yo, there's somebody out there snuffing people. I've been wanting to do this my whole life. <laughs> just you No, but I feel like I f- that's always been a thing, right? Like, every, like, five years, this shit comes back for, like, a month, right? Like remember the punch. knockout game that they were hitting, like, old people? You don't remember that? <laughs> that's not funny. No, no, yeah, they killed un- they yep. killed an old man by playing the knockout game. They were running up to him and just, they would, yeah, not him crazy. repeatedly, but they would go up to old people. This is in the tri-state area, and it was young kids that would just hit him one shot. You only get one swing and try to knock the person out, and that's what they were doing to civilians. This is probably crazy. like five to ten years ago, somewhere around there. Yeah. And once somebody had died and they had arrested the person because he hit the concrete, they arrested the kid and the game died out. But I feel like this is like that all over again. Mm. I don't know. If man. it's true, because who even knows? I mean, I'm sure some of it is true, but there was people coming out like, I got punched too. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's always people that try to go for the cloud. I seen one video of the girl. She had a cookie. She was no, on that's her, the one with 40 million views. Yeah, she was on her way to like a brunch or something. She got there <laughs> with the girl. She had the cookie. Crazy. She brought the dessert. Now she famous. I would have definitely, bro. Someone st- stepped on the, you know, the gates on the floor right next to me. Above the train. Oh, 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 like okay. for the for the businesses that they have the cellar. Oh, mm-hmm. never mind. The gates yeah, for the yeah, cellars. Yeah, go down to the basement. basement. Someone stepped on it right next to me. I fell down one of those. That impact of that sound, I was like, 
Yo, thought you I was be, gonna get you caught. You subliminally promoted your shit twice today. Promoted what? Impact of the sound. Mm-hmm. And then when we read the three times because you just said promoted what? Yeah, it got me right. You didn't say it. <laughs> and then when you were talking about the, the 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 future stuff, what do you want people to know you as? He was like my impact. Oh wow. Yo, speaking of future's impact, you seen what he beefy got going on? Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. So I gotta you. ask you. I'm waiting for um J. Cole to drop his. That's a fact. But Kendrick, I think Kendrick did a 10 out of 10 job on his on his verse. What's a 10 to you? Oh. A- I mean, <laughs> oh. he said, he said, I mean, oh. you, the, you ain't no diva. He just said that. Well, that was Beyonce, no? Yeah. He did his version. Yeah, what are you gonna ask me? Sorry. So they're saying that this all happened because, you know, there's a woman, a woman of the night. Diana. Princess Diana, she worked at a strip club, and you know that apparently both of them were sleeping with her, and that's what this beef is about, Future and Drake. If that, Mm -hmm. if we would have been beefing over a woman sleeping with the same woman, me and you would have been beefing over Melania a long time ago. First of all, (laughs) (laughs) the fact that Lily had denied it made my joke even worse, (laughs) and now I'm here wondering. (laughs) Wondering why? First of all, <laughs> I was in the past. Yo, what y'all? Listen. <laughs> first of all, I can't remember what I was going to say. Because you were talking oh, about the past. If. Could, are we talking about the future? Is there any scenario where, and you could plug in any friend or even a fake friend, where a, a woman comes in between both of y'all? The money, you're not in this scenario. It's like, he never met you. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to switch it up for you after. But where you're at the top of the world or the top of the food chain and you're yeah. career wise, and you're gonna let something like this kind of deteriorate? I mean, the only way I would is if it was somebody that I was with, like Melanie. Yes. It would right? have to be like a committed, somebody who's committed to. Both it. of them is out of here, right? They still alive though. Um, but I could see it coming between us. If my man's is the one sending the shots first and stuff like that, like if he's uh, like if he's bitching over a bitch and he's going on the internet, da da da, da and we're these two moguls, nah, I gotta fight back. Who started? It's, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know because now people are doing, you know, they're doing their due diligence and, and going and back and old, that old. So they're finding old Drake subs to Future and the song What Will Pluto? Do? Yeah, but What Will Pluto to me, I get it now. Like now, it makes more sense. But it sounded like. Future, you fuck mad bitches, and and we've done this before. What, what would you do? You would fuck her. So that's, I did it. That's why he's the king of subliminals, because he says, what would Future do? He fucked the hoe, so I did it. So if he's talking in reference to that Princess Diana girl, he's saying, like, yeah, it was nothing. She He did it, so I did it. But apparently, Future might have had feelings for her, or because he didn't take that well. Kendrick... Ah oh, man, I've been trying to. I can spit my balls again for him. I've been right trying now. to get his attention on IG. <laughs> Yo, let me talk to you real quick. I got more for him too. We, we got to save it for the vid. Yeah, I got more for him, but I could. I probably come up with a throwaway right now, um, just to send shots at him. You know, maybe he watches the pod. <laughs> <laughs> he better tune in. Sorry, no, yeah, maybe he does. You on Team Kendrick? No, no, I'm she, I'm Team J Cole. Okay. Team Sheik Yeah. I, I, but, I feel I'm like not, but I'm not biased though. I will say when a verse is fire and all that. No, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm ready for all three of them to start dropping shit. See, I'm a I think, and this is for real though. This is a real take. This not being a dick about it. Yeah, yeah. Even though Drake, hey, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's ruined your whole opinion. That's about to happen. <laughs> Kendrick to me holds more sh- to me shock value than Drake. No, no, than like. He got a good flow. He got a good voice. Mm-hmm. But it's the shock value to me that makes people go, oh my God. Like, well, I think it's the shock value is because he drops music once every five years. No, but the shock value is that he mentions that he actually said, hey, first person shooter. So, oh, yeah, he's definitely talking about Drake. Oh my God. But this shit was, oh, to me. Yeah. I mean, to me. Listen. I think the flow and everything was hard. I think the beat is fire as fuck. Me too. I think that beat is going to be so... Gay with all these nods, leave you in the pet cemetery. What the fuck is a pet cemetery? It's a movie. Good to know. So what, he's going to leave him in a movie? He's going to... That's where you bury your pets. Got a gay with all these nods. Did you hear my dog bars? 
You're not used to having those, but you're not used to having these. That's a dog bar. My bu- your dogs bark, my mom bark different. That was crazy. I'm with you. Okay with all these nines? I feel like this was a good beef starter. But if this is where it's going to stay, then I don't want no parts of it. And if Drake, I'm not going to hold you. If Drake going to come back keep... and do the subliminal bullshit. Oh, uh, yeah. Get him out of there with two. I don't want him. I don't, I'm cool. Just if give me Jake, the Cole verse. J. Cole got a response. To me, I'm not even waiting for a Drake response. I'm waiting for a J. Cole response. Right? Yeah, I think everybody But is. I could keep responding, yo, keep mentioning dogs. I'm the American bully because I'm a gold monster like silly. Monsters ain't. Crazy. That was fire. I just can't stop. That was fire. That was fire. That was crazy. Word. That one almost went over my head and everything. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I was like, well, he's... I had to and dig then in I the understood. child crates for that one. Crazy. I'm a... Hit you in the eye like Mike. You would joke to me like psych. So, but now, now add those and put some flow into it. There ain't no flow over here because I got bars. I ain't hear it. Uh-uh. The fuck is that, bro? He sounded like a fucking seagull. <laughs> that shit, I mean, that shit, he called everybody bum. Where'd he, you hear bum? bum at? What are you talking no, yeah, about? He, he says bum? Yeah, yes. Yeah, he he says just, it I don't bum he, and back to back. He starts what? calling them I bum. I don't hear that word because Drake, a bum? Never. <laughs> J. Cole, a bum? Never. <laughs> That's Why? what's crazy. Because they chill on the beach so much and you don't? <laughs> I still feel like even, even though that, like he took shots at both of them, I feel like he was only talking about Drake and was like, Cole, I got to give you a bar or two because you did that song with him. No, but I could get why he felt the way. Like, If you think about the Spider-Man meme, it's more than one. What? The Spider-Man meme? Yeah, yeah. What about it's it? It's more than one Spider-Man in that meme, right? Or is it just two yeah, of them? Yeah, I think it's three. It's three. No, it's three. Yeah, yeah, so he goes to Spider Man. Mean is, is me is and me Drake. Looking at Drake, like he's just we're the best to do it. Like yeah, but right, literally, yeah, I get that. But literally, right before that, he was talking about who's the top three. Is it yeah? K-Dot, but he said out of all of Drake them, I feel me. like Muhammad Ali. So that means yeah, we we're the but top three. Is. But I'm the best one. Everybody in the world just now figuring out in 2024 that Cole has been the best lyrical rapper. Out of them three since they all came out. Yeah, but that's his fault. I love J. Cole's fault. No, no, 100% too. that it is his fault. But I I'm saying like, people are just like, oh, yeah, he just now got to this level. Cole's been there for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just now giving out a lot more music uh, in Mainstream closer bunches. Nah, with music. pen. He's yeah. putting his pen to work. He do. A lot of times he give us his soul shit and my boy shit work. We were talking about it in the crib yesterday. And I had a few takes that uh, Cheeks was like, yo, that shit was crazy, yo. That shit was crazy. Takes? Yeah, some takes. So this is my take, right? I feel like- She said Kendrick was more- no. I said I said J. Cole is more versatile than Kendrick. Which is crazy. Now, wait, Kendrick Lamar is more versatile no, than no. who? J. J. Cole, Cole is, is more versatile, versatile than, than Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. Like, I think Kendrick has the same voice. Mm-hmm. You want to do this and I'll do this and then now where we go? I'm with you. And Courage then, um, the Kylie dog shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Um, I mean, I gotta stand if J. Cole's more, of a, but it don't, it's not that far off. J. Cole, no, it's not that far off. They're both great, phenomenal. I think they're both the best two current storytellers when they yeah, want to tell stories. Versatile as yeah. fuck. Uh, in terms of just wordplay and all that, I think them two bar for bar, yeah. But listen to her next take. <laughs> My next one was. Um, I loved it, by the way. That uh, Kendrick Lamar reminds me of Childish Gambino. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Reminds How me. How so? Where he me, raps. The way he raps, his musicality and stuff gives me childish game. Like, his let versatility. Let me just yeah. think outside the box. Huh? Like, let me just think outside the box kind of thing. Whatever just comes out happens. It's just that whole girl. Nah, yeah. I think, I think it's that. Where's I think he it's from? That. Is he from Atlanta? Who? Uh, childish Gambino? I don't know. I would say so. Like, it, it reminds me of um, This is America. <laughs> don't want to slip in off. Yeah. Don't okay. catch you slip in off. <laughs> Like it just and he and they they kind of oh. okay I see what you mean it was like non traditional like you don't really expect what's gonna happen in the next line I think the way more Kendrick, theatrical well that's what I'm saying yes. with Kendrick switching up his voice and the oh yeah. every line is different yeah, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you don't know what to expect so it's like more okay theatrical. he did that it's it's, yeah. it's 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 a lot of things my thing with Kendrick for a long time and I still kind of think it might hold true is just nobody. There's not really good rappers from out there in the West Coast. So when you're like the poster boy, it's kind of easier for you because not a lot of people from where you're from with that same kind of sound are out in the mainstream. The game is going to watch this and kill you. He don't rap like Kendrick, though. They're from two different parts. Oh, yeah, but he's, you said West Side. 
No. Yeah, but he, like even with even <laughs> if you take a uh, game, game has changed his whole thing to now. Whoever I'm rapping with on the song, I'm just gonna rap like them. Mm. And he's the, probably the greatest rapper to do that. Like, like he's like a chameleon. You can hear the game Drake with literally. Yeah. I was gonna, yeah, exist. I was thinking about Drake. What? Drake, Drake does that. Well, Drake, no, 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 no. Drake has a thing called the Drake flow. We just heard Big Sean's thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Game don't have that. You think game is literally you, just taking other people's sounds. Would you consider Big Sean stealing his flow if Drake got lit off you, Big Sean's flow? Nah, I told. I think I had told you that. I was like, you can't run around your whole career saying everybody stole my flow. And then you go and steal somebody else's flow what and if, acknowledge it. What if Big Sean considers that his? Nah. Wait, Big Sean thinks Drake stole his flow? Yeah, he did. Yeah. But like, you still- According to Big Sean- and what Drake said, it's not about who did it first, it's about, about who, who did, did it right. right. Looking like preach. Well, which flow? It the whole, the, the, it's the- It's the one that The I one that, that he literally just did. That, me. That, yeah, me, right? Yeah, yeah. When I said that your dogs and my dog, dog bark different, and then I said that, I even forgot the name of the dog. Uh, oh, but, but it's but when Jane. Drake goes, you know, I bald chemo. Oh, where you oh, set okay, up the last okay. like two syllables. So you don't even the bar don't go together, but the word kind of go. You could put it together. Mm -hmm. It's like a summary of the bar. Okay, okay, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're yeah, saying. The Drake flow. But, isn't, got that, the but flow. isn't that word play? Yeah, but Big because Sean came out with a whole song. Called no, wordplay is the words you use. But He's talking about that the way flow, you say the, it. What did he say on that damn shit? You know, but that's I what I think. I feel like, I feel like, um, last one ever. First, first name greatest, greatest like, like a sprained ankle, ankle boy, ain't nothing to play with. Started, started off local, but, but thanks to all the haters, I know first five on the first name. Sorry, but yeah, that that's the Drake. Flow. Not that one. Yeah, started. You know, I, Nino. Come and find me, Nemo. That's the. That's the. That's the Big Sean. That's no, the Big Paul Chemo. That's the Big Sean shit. Okay. Um. I, I do remember back in the day when we was in high school when they had all came out that Big Sean did have a a, a, a rightful sound. claim to that. Well, he had a whole song. Like Drake even would come out with a big song, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's Big Sean flow." He had a whole song doing that flow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just that setup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Word. Punch, word, punch, word, punch, word, punch, word, 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 word. It was fire. So he had a whole song doing that. Cuba, Scuba, Luda, Chuba. Drake was like, all right, I'm going to come and do it for a couple of songs on this album. It's going to be mine now. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I just feel I just feel like Big Sean, I feel like if someone's taking your flow. You should be grateful. No, not even that, but you're you inspiring. That's why you should be grateful. Yeah. But I guess like, I guess it's about, it's about the recognition. You want your... Yeah. Give my two, give my give my credit, bitch. Listen, give I, my credit, I bitch. agree. That's why I was like, he shouldn't have been running around earlier on, being like, "Oh, this person stole this." Oh, because eventually you were gonna come back and take something from somebody. It's the music industry. But yeah. that, but I feel like it's like. Thankfully, Drake Petty ass didn't take that <laughs> serious. Because Drake Petty King, looking back, none of them took him as real competition. <laughs> but he smoked. He smoked. Mm -mm. He, he didn't smoke. He he smoked, but I think it was it had to have been just the really heavy coats. Oh, and shut the fuck up! Oh, I got way too much say, about like, men like too. People like I learn from what I've been through. I fin I'm finna I'm do what I ain't do, and I'm still waking up like the Rans do. He's it's like, not complicated. complicated it's it's simple. simple. I got sex and women a whole bed for. Like all of that was fire. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I want to just know who was helping along with that. Because you know me, I'm like he fell off way too hard, way too quickly. I think I think. Where I feel There's, like somebody pulled the rug out from underneath him. I was like, I'm not working with him no more. And that's the decline. Nah, I think people experiment. And I actually was saying this today. This is if you believe in some universe shit, right? Sometimes things don't go your way because it's not supposed to. But they're, you know, like it's literally telling you, hey, stop doing this. It's right there. And I keep pointing you in the direction right there. And you keep going that way. You know, some people look at it as, Damn, they trying me, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And I think Big Sean tried to be different, and it just didn't work, and he's still not making it work. That's okay. So if that could be true, because <laughs> we see it all the time. Artists come, Beyonce, she's about to drop a country, a country album. album. 
I think if you try something and it flop, you got to just act like it never happened. That's what I'm saying. But I think there's, I think Big Show is one of the people that are like, nah, this has got to. Nah, yeah, like this he's got to. He's going to make it work. Because it seems like he's putting out the same work. But maybe that's what he feels called to, to create. Well, I, I get you. But as... As a creator who sells things, you would want people to buy it. So if you keep giving something and people keep telling you, yo, I really want to buy your art piece, but you kind of don't paint the same no more. Mm-hmm. Can you try again? And they're Can waiting for you. Different? Eventually give them. No, they're asking for the same old. Okay, yeah, but they are They're do, saying, do yo, the new different. shit you're drawing, it ain't really, it's not like the old shit. You give me that old shit, I'm going to be waiting front line for it. That's what they're telling him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think he should have just... It's kind of you learn to adapt, though. So you put the old shit with the new shit, and that was new shit, but it's still the old shit, but it's new old shit. You know, because, like... That's when your shit starts sounding dated. Because little Baby, though, when they drop... Exactly, perfect. He dropped something now, it sounds like it came out three years ago. And that's where, you know, the confusion of, yo, we want the old music. <laughs> there it is, bro. Mm-hmm. It's right there. Yeah, you sound the same, though. This is how I sounded. Yeah. So that's why you got to kind of like learn how to maneuver. I mean, we struggle with that but shit. Then, but like, <laughs> but, but my thing is. Um, like Big Sean not being part of the big three is crazy. I understand why. There's no way you think that. No, I think I think if Big Sean was rapping like. Do, I I don't think it's crazy. I think it's crazy that his work ethic, like he, he just not a part of that no more. But I do think. He, I thought, at least when I was younger, that this guy is about to be the greatest. I mean, yeah, he was definitely, it was definitely like a core four before a big three. But they got him up out of there pretty quick. It was. What I was going to say was. Oh, yeah, me came out that time too. And Wiz. Wiz was also like, he wasn't in the lyricist group with them, but like in terms of new rapper on the scene, they were all going crazy. That was a good time. I don't know if my question is um, Ask relevant. Me. Come anymore. on, man. But it was just pertaining to an artist like wanting to do something different. Good. That was what it was. Like, nah, I don't, like, continue. It's just, it's I just, think, go ahead. I'm going to answer it. Because I think, let's, I, I agree with it. That's what actually where I'm at now with my career. I'm going to do what I like to do. I don't care what anybody else say, right? Yeah. But I can't complain. You can't complain that it's not working out for you. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm saying. I can't complain. So now back to the other happy, metaphor. Because you're happy doing what you're doing now. If this is what no, I chose to he, do. Now he can't complain if it's a fail because he knows I'm switching it up. This is something I'm not used to. I don't have the results to look at. And if it flops, I have to take the blame because this is what I chose to do. Mm-hmm. I can't be like, yo, y'all don't like real videos and yeah. y'all don't like real comedy. You can't start I literally people. know this is something yeah. mm-hmm. different. I mean, for me, I'm, a, you know, like. No, 100%. I know this might be the wrong route to take. Yeah. I know I could get more views doing that route. Mm-hmm. But I'm losing myself more with that route. I'll be over here. But I actually do feel better over here too. So I, I won't complain. Because I can't. Exactly. And I literally can't. Because you feel like those, I'm creating that. Yeah. It is a tough space. We'll cut Big Sean some slack. Because those people that come out on the other side of that uh, with a banger or a crazy art piece or a crazy piece of content, those are the people that we call trailblazers. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. They stepped out and did something new. And look how great it was. But on the other side, it's the Big Sean. Yo, they stepped out and they lost it. But then I got a question, right? Yeah, but Drake's also getting that. A follow follow up question. Right? Them, they're haters. Because <laughs> this fuck Drake laws. Fucking haters. On tour um, right now. Cause my shit is sometimes it really ain't even about the project and really about what how's it being pushed. Also, yeah, huge. That's true. Yeah. And the market. Big, is, big it. Sean's a big enough, however, big enough however, name to, however, to move shit. However. I get that the marketing aspect and how you get the content to people, to the consumer, is a very important, vital piece. But even if you only get it to 25 people and those 25 people are not rocking with it, Yeah, but with Big Sean, this is not the case if we're speaking about him. He no, actually, no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about in he general. He actually says in his new song that uh, my consistency is... No, no, I'm talking about in general. Like, even you can market the crap out of something phenomenally and get it to everybody, but if the... If when people get it, they're like, this is garbage. It's called algorithm. You know, then it's like, ah, yeah, you made the money. But now when round two comes back, those people don't want it. Sorry. It was the third time that I had them chills. About to give me a head. <laughs> nah, you wish. 
chills. <laughs> oh, she went like this. I was like, yeah. All right, man, read, read your pillow talk. I'm excited for pillow talk. I've been waiting two weeks without it. Pillow talk me. It's almost three weeks. This one's a pretty short, but I feel like it's beneficial. Guys, welcome to Pillow Talk, where we give relationship advice. Disclaimer, whatever you decide to do with this advice Guys, is on welcome you. to Pillow Talk, where you send... Was I not just doing hold it? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You fucking guys, mansplaining hold on, hold on. me. Guys, welcome to Pillow Talk, where you guys send emails in needing relationship advice, and we give it to you. Okay. No, do you... Does, uh... Disclaimer. Yeah. Whatever you do... With the advice that we give is on you, Chica and Millennia, not responsible to anything that happens in your life. Or Kaba. I got you, Kaba. Thank you. I was going to do it at the end. Or Kaba. She's trying to leave me in on the lawsuit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I read it? No. Okay. No, nah, Millennia's getting really good at reading these. Oh. Jesus. She's getting good at reading. You know your dyslexia acts up sometimes. There's no way I'm the dyslexic one here. You get the vowels mixed up. There's... <laughs> Gaslighted. I told you well. Trying to help you out. I know, I know, I like it. Yeah, but it. that's literally oh, yeah. her excuses that she don't know how to pronounce vowels. That's you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Been with my girl since I was 15. I'm 24 now. Okay. Nine We're the years. same age, but I feel like the stuff I used to love about her is slowly starting to annoy me now. I hate her friends and some <laughs> aspects of her mentality. I feel like I outgrew her and have been together for so long, just because it's the only real relationship I had. I was broke and jobless for a while recently. She held me down, though. That's usually when... But now I'm yep. back to my normal self. <laughs> That's usually when... I feel emasculated because of how it was previously, but I still love her. What should I do? Oh, we... That went a different route than I thought it was going to go. Man the fuck up. I was ready to kill him. Oh, I was ready to drag were you? him. I, was I wasn't. To, I was I'm going to drag, drag him, now. him. No, wait, now I'm what, not. So without that, wait, wait, where were you was ready to drag him? The fact that you were using this girl, and then the second you were able to get back up on your two feet, you're yeah. no longer interested in her. Yeah. yeah, that's a fact. That's what happened. At the end, it sounded like he's like he wants to work it out with her. He's like trying to figure. He it does, out. but he still had that pussy ass thought. But he's no, he had a pussy thought because he feels like yo, she was holding me down. So I feel emasculated yeah. that she had to hold me down when it should have been the other way around. Yeah, but that's why I think that's pussy. So he feels, I could be wrong, but it sounds like he feels almost embarrassed or ashamed yeah, because pussy. of their past to her. No, no, I'm not saying Man that it's the pussy. Fuck up. I'm not saying that it's pussy that he feels that way. I'm saying it's pussy that you know you feel that way and you blamed it all on her friends and we saw mm -hmm. the problems right there. Oh, oh, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I skipped over all of that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, do you really have a problem with your, her friends like, and do you, stuff? Oh, I'm outgrew. No, or, you, or, you, or, you're, or you're embarrassed. you're shitty about yourself, and, and that's why you're starting to pick at really, things that, that, don't, cared that about you don't you. like. She cared about you enough to know that you was down and out, going through a rough patch in your life, and held it down for you. And now that you're able to at least wobble on your two feet, you're starting to second guess if you should be with her. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> nah, he that got me That's tight crazy. too. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it got me tight. I'm not nah, surprised. Fuck that. Yeah. Women's empowerment month. Let's yeah. yeah, he wowed yeah. out. Because honestly, not when this shit I was gonna be like, yo, bro, you kind of don't even deserve her. No, for real. Like if you can't, if you're not even that comfortable with yourself to be like, damn, I was down and out for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm ready to do what I gotta do for is you. Is it? Isn't that like like I feel like there's times like I've said this before to Cheek like, when he gets like really angry for no reason at me. No, I mean, I'm speaking for you. Now you're hurting my feelings. You got Relax. blind fury. But I'm say, I've am i said this. I'm like, yo, do you, are you trying to push me away? Uh -huh. like, you, like, sometimes we, we want to, like, get out of the relationship. We feel vulnerable. But we don't want we don't want to <laughs> be like, yo, I'm done with you. I don't want to do this anymore. So we start making you the problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, Hopefully funny. you'll leave me. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. I've done that shit I'm, before. I'm making it about. It was successful? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> But Letty done told me that whole speech when I'm like, <laughs> this is why I think Melody's a gaslighter. I'm not even going, <laughs> wow. right? Because I'll be you know like, what she did too. Because I'll be like, yo, I'm moving out. I don't want nothing to do with you no more. Right? She'd be like, I feel like you're just pushing me away. If you want to leave, then just leave. Don't push me away. I'm like, bitch, I'm telling you, I'm done with you. Yeah, sometimes you should express your feelings and tell me how you really <laughs> feel. I am over this shit. I'm out. Here's the keys. This motherfucker be crying wolf. 
That's yeah, what I'm I do. saying. I definitely be crying wolf like, for attention, bro. The, what is it? The boy? Yeah, yeah. The boy Stop me, wolf. somebody. I'm like, it's not me. I'm, I'm like, signing this lease. I'm like, go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, okay. Now I pay for two apartments. <laughs> what you made me do? I bought this house in LA. Yeah. And now I want you back. <laughs> that was some loser ass shit. It didn't, it didn't get me tight. Yeah, no. Because why would you say that to me? That, oh, I was, nah, fuck it. Oh. I think he's mad at the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. But I will say this, though, right? Yeah, no, like, no way. I swear, 24. if you switch. No, I'm not switching. No, no, no. But I am thinking, like, you 24. You've been with them since 15. I broke King at 24. I will break up, like, not break up with you, but I'm like, oh, we've been together for a while. Let me go enjoy my life and find something else. No, Yo, it was, it was definitely understand. Like, I was with him the whole beginning. Like, yeah. Yo, I grew mm -hmm. each other. Y'all grew it. That makes yeah. so much sense. You show. But, but then so when not, the, yeah. I feel the mas emasculated, emasculated yeah. comes in, oh, Listen, now bro. I can't believe anything you say. But you cried wolf. I did forget the fact that he's 24. So at 24, a young man does have fragile, fragile ego. So you being embarrassed, you, he might think, yo, this girl's only going to ever look at me and see like some broke guy. Bro, if you worried about the woman that you choose to spend the rest of your life with, Looking at you in the like a hard time and being like, oh yeah, he broke. Mm -hmm. You're probably not gonna be happy with anybody you find. No, I understand what you're saying. My shit is, you could be embarrassed all you want. That would have been great. I'm embarrassed. How do I get over this? You started it off with, did I outgrow her? Did I hate? I hate yeah, her yeah, friends. Yeah. That's her how this mentality, bro. Her mentality, yeah. Clearly, her mentality is better than yours because she took care of your broke ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That ass. I'm so sorry, bro. Thanks, no, for, no, thanks for coming and bringing your advice to me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, listen, sometimes it's tough love. Bro, if if a woman was worried about me being broke, right? I'm talking about like she would use it against me if, as I'm broke. I might backfire that shit. That's one. Two, <laughs> that's one. I'm definitely throwing it in your face. <laughs> yeah, you took care of me, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> I have her I'm robbed. throwing it right back. I'll get her robbed and now we both broke. Now what are you going to say? <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> what I agree with is, yeah, you took care of me. Ah, bitch. Yeah, you my sugar mama, old ass. Like, I'll start going off, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Anyways, but if a woman took care of you and she didn't go anywhere, that's, right? That's like, why we, would you feel that's what we look for. ashamed? I could have swore yeah. it was, yeah, oh, I got to take care of you, broke motherfucker now. Like, this brokey, she would have left you. I think, I think a, a, I want a change is enough reason to end a relationship. No, he needed change. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want change. He needed it. He needed it. He was broke. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nah, I'm happy you got your shit together, your life together. Fix the situation mm -hmm. with your shorty, man. That I was... say, y'all been together for 10 years. Nine? Mm, nine years. Um, if you really feel like she's the one, which y'all yeah, been together for nine years, I say you figured out that y it's a you problem. He didn't. Th well, he said that. It, Hopefully stating he that is enough of realizes. you realizing that it's a you problem. Um, my advice is to try to work on it. And if you still feel like... Work on what? On your issue. On you feeling emasculated. No, yeah. 100%. That's, 100, that's his I think that's really thing. the problem in the relationship. And no, then, no, no. He's, he definitely don't deserve her. Mm -hmm. This is not me trying to cape for her. He don't sound like he's... Ready. appreciating her oh, or yeah. even just you might be one of those people that's just not ready to be in a relationship because you got to work on your own stuff maybe your own financial situation whatever the case may be mm -hmm. but yeah like i said for you to think and i like it could be because he's 24 your girl that whoever you choose to settle down with is going to see you in way worse times than you having no money in your pocket mm -hmm. yeah look mm -hmm. you know if that's the deciding factor and that's what's going to make you feel like, I feel you don't like his be name there, is daniel go. daniel attack the problem not your partner. He start beating himself up because <laughs> he's the problem. <laughs> he's the problem. Yeah, that's my advice: is to to work on your emasculine feelings. Yeah, and if you, if then you still emasculated feelings, and then if you're still feeling drifted apart from your partner, then I think you should walk away. You're 24. Yo, go to the fucking doctor and go get some testosterone. Tell him put that shit in you. What the fuck are you talking about? Working your masculine. Yeah. <laughs> mind you it should be crazy coming from me right i'm like the least masculine man in this couch yeah sometimes i'll just be like yeah i got a girlfriend at home and we scissor <laughs> i don't know that was coming next i put my balls inside of her 
Because my balls are bigger than my dick. <laughs> you laughing like that doesn't help his case. <laughs> it's funny. That was my... <laughs> A lot of advice. Attack the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all gave good advice. To, I think so. My right? advice wasn't for him. It was for his girlfriend. Yeah. Like, yo, if he ain't appreciating you, bro, yeah. get him the fuck out of here. You are the prize. I told him I made a video recently, and I was like, yo, you are the prize. You get two days to cry from a breakup. Two days is crazy. Two days. That's it. That's all you got. I'm going to cry. I cry for up, two days where you like- How long you been together? It don't matter. You crazy. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm not crying for the first- Five months, but that's you're not six, crying. Yeah, I think if you don't cry, you're you're setting yourself up to but that six months. Have issues I'm crying later. For, yeah, probably two. Years. See, I'm gonna probably no. wait until like I have intercourse with like the next person, and then I'll cry then. Wow, you <laughs> fucking hurt. <laughs> Why are you crying? That man, she's like, are you fucking crying? He's it's like, been a while. Like, no, your pussy's wet. <laughs> <laughs> It's so wet <laughs> down here. Are you crying? I used to put my oh, ex yeah. in these positions. I get myself to every time Chick Light breaks up with me, I get a day to cry. And the next day. So how I, you got two days? I only give him one because I know he's coming back. I can't give him two fucking days crying. Chick's be giving out fucking PTO. What's PTO? Pay time off. <laughs> It'll be a free day of crying on him. <laughs> yeah. I get I get one day of crying. Next day, you no, know, I'm a bad bitch. You the prize. Don't fucking forget it, Melanie. And if he's here, Yeah, but he's the way Melanie becomes a bad bitch don't really, like, excite me. It doesn't. It's not supposed to excite like, you. Like, you know, like, usually it's like, yo, watch. I'll be the baddest bitch today. It's supposed to make tight. you feel... What's the opposite of empowered? It's supposed to make you feel that. Like it's emasculated. Nah, it's supposed to make me feel like, oh, this bitch lovely like love. She's oh, stepping. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, she's stepping yeah, out. Yeah, like. she walking. And I, I look at her, she be in sweats, going to get flowers and walk the dog. And like, that's her power. Yup. Like, ah. That is. Get you know me why some you new can't, flowers. You know I why, love that for you, though. Thank you. <laughs> you know why you can't say nothing about that no more? I just did. Because, well, obviously you can say it. But why? I feel like it doesn't even work. Is she could go out in sweatpants and stuff. She's still millennia. So she could still go out and cheat if she wanted to in sweatpants. So why wouldn't it? Yeah, but that don't make me look at you and be like, oh, you out there doing your thing. Like, nah. Mm. So if one day she just pull up in like, like a whole Bottega outfit with the high knee out. gonna be like, where you got that from? No, I'll be like, <laughs> no, not. He gonna fuck around and put the leash on him. Like, <laughs> I'll be like, yo, you fly as fuck. Come back here. That's the shit. <laughs> the like when, when we beef in this shop, make sure to spray your extra few Santello on me. Like, yo, I just took a shit, sprayed my asshole. Like for everything. Yo, I just opened the refrigerator. So I spraying yeah. that shit around. He, he put the he He put it in the vent so when nah, he nah, leaves, nah, nah, you nah. smell him in the he house. He turns the clippers on, act like he's gonna shave himself. Oh. I hear that shit. <laughs> and then it's still bushy, all, be like all surprise. Of a, all of a sudden motherfucker wanna shave. <laughs> A whole month and a half, nah, we're all he, good. Now nah, he got a brand new, he got a brand new groom kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he be trying to make me jealous. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know. I told you. I put the Santella on. I mean, I start doing. You do stuff. that. You do that. You do that for me to try to like, like get me. Like I be to, hoping. Cause you know I like that smell. Like I be hoping you be like, damn, you smell good. Fuck this argument. You just start. I'm not gonna me. lie to you. Hold on. I just thought of a topic that. Cause you said, cause you like that smell. This is the Santel Thirty Three. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. When we be beefing and he puts a good cologne and he puts a nice fit on, I be there like, damn, I wanna fuck him. Oh, you don't even do that when we in a relationship. Oh, no. What I was about but to say, I her saying that made it way worse. I can't. Oh, and you got worse. headphones on, so she was put that shit dead in your ear. I can't say that to you because you're beefing with me and yeah. I'm not going to get rejected because you really are the type. Because I'll be like, damn, you smell good. He'll look at me, get the, yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, mm -hmm. this other bitch about to smell my dick. Yeah, relax. That shit mess more. No, it's not. Wait, what? Yeah, but the cologne good. of the, my dick. <laughs> hey. The cologne of my dick. All right. Go ahead. What Go I was going to say is if there's a specific scent, like now I know that one, I will never wear that in my life. Because now every time I wear it, I'm going to be like, damn, Maleni loves this shit on cheeks. So now I associate that scent with ya. Mm. So now I, I wonder if anybody else does things like that. Mm. I don't. No, I don't. Because I, I would recommend it for you because it gets... That's different. That's what I was going to say. So if you tell me like, yo, 
I got this new cologne or whatever. We've done that before. I'll go and buy it or whatever. And, and no, I'm wear saying it. I would if recommend she does it with what those she just words, did. But I'll recommend it with those words, like "Yo, Malay was about to suck my dick through oh, my jean jacket." I, see, for you, I'd be like, yeah. "Oh yeah," but I would a never. Good, go a buy good, a good scent. I don't know if uh, if other girls are like this. A good scent is a way to my. Mm-hmm. I'll be like. You mean a good scent is a way to your... You giving advice right now? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm giving advice for men. So how to get you? No, not to get me, so but... How to get women like you. said yeah. a good scent is a way to my... It's way not to for me. You're supposed to say, when Chiclet smells good, it, you know, it makes oh, me... Oh, man. Nah, I'm good. Get out of here, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well... That's where they put the no, water. What gets me tight is that I be wearing the cologne while we still in the relationship. Yeah. I don't get treated like that. What are you talking about? But then when I was I... giving you mad loves the other day. He he took a shower. I mean, he has the Santel oh. shower gel. But I didn't know he took a shower in it. So I smell it on him and I'm like, you wearing Santel 33? And then the I was body all wash? in his neck. So don't be fronting. Don't front, bro. Yeah, I, I use the body wash every day. Don't front for the gram. That sounds like the body wash. How often do you shower? Yeah, you heard that he took a shower the other day. I use that shit every day. <laughs> apparently, you only shower once. No, alone. the day she smelled it, it wasn't the body wash. I sprayed the cologne on me. Mm, the body ah, wash was so you was enhancing it. Mm. I be spraying that shit on my skin. But and I wasn't my saying that to give advice so that they know that other women. Like to smell men too. Yeah, I saw this video. This is damn. I wish I knew her name, but there's this girl that she does the. She be with Kai. Mm -hmm. and she does the whole twenty men versus her type shit. Oh, okay, okay. And okay. when men smell good, she one of the dudes walked up. She's funny as fuck. One of the dudes walked up. Right, he was like, "Nah, dub, but say your name." <laughs> and he, she said his name. Uh -huh. Soon as he walked up. And then when he was walking away, she smelled good. He goes, nah, you smell good. Come back and room. <laughs> and then she was like, yo, you're the first guy here to smell good today. Here, Damn. you can stay. And she kept them. Get your hygiene up, fellas. It's a game changer. I have this perfume. All right. It's called... Welcome. Uh, wait, wait, Rick. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Forget it. Oh, God, God. Nah, there's this perfume, Angel Share. It's 250 a bottle, though. Yo. 250 a bottle. But when I tell you, I, got I, that get, shit for I get compliments. When I wear it, and that first spray, Compliments. you don't really like Compliments. complementos. <laughs> you don't really like it. Don't, it's when it settles. It's when it settles. You never saw the compliments video? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> she gave us the real version. <laughs> complementos. No, I didn't see that video. Like a little kid. Yeah. Like, How do you say compliments it's in special Spanish? Compliments. 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 He's like, no, that's not you say it. What were you talking about? I was talking about the perfume. <laughs> Yo, I but, don't know what she's talking about. She's talking about you get angel scent for $250 a bottle. I'm going to give you a key right now. That alt fragrance shit, for anybody over there that don't want to pay no $500 for a bottle of cologne or shit, it so don't it. last as long as the real shit do, but it smells exactly the same. Mm. What is it called? Alt. A-L-T. Yeah, A-L-T. Was so, that a website? It's like a company that came out. Yo, he get a sponsorship Yo. deal. Listen, yeah, it's a good product. Suck. It's a good product. Yeah. We, ain't getting, yeah. we ain't getting no money over here. Trust it's me. Just, I've mm. never smelled cologne on you in my life. Now no, all of a sudden, sudden you're using wow. it. Wow. <laughs> <Like, laughs> we on to you, bro. We on to you. If Yo. any other companies want us to do it, actually just pulled out a like bottle, this. guys. If you want to see it, so it. <laughs> <laughs> See how good we would be? We're, we're just practicing in case we did have it. In case like, somebody Dan, wanted it. You smell it. good. What you wearing? All right, let me finish yeah, my promo. Dick. Let me finish my promo. All right. But it is fire. Mm -hmm. Low key, they're not paying me to do this, but that shit is fire. Okay. If you look up like a famous scent that you want, $30 bottle, it worked. Dang. Shit is fire. All right, I, before we leave, I got a question. Yep. Yeah. I got one for you too. Uh -huh. Cheating? Oh, no, that's one. Not that one. Is it gay? For a man to wear a big T-shirt with no drawers to bed. <laughs> that's, that's. I feel like you've done that before. I feel like <laughs> I've definitely tried to, <laughs> but it just don't feel right. I've definitely wore like briefs that were probably not as long, and a T-shirt that might have been pretty long. <laughs> Like, like, that's crazy. What I wear, like, <laughs> if I saw myself in the mirror, I definitely switched. I got a snuggie, right? Well, it's not called a snuggie. But I be wearing it and I be having shorts under. Mm. When I be going to get mail, I'm like, I wonder if they think I'm naked under this <laughs> shit. And I have no clothes on. Like, today I woke up, I slept with a, my wife beater and no boxes. 
So what? I, yeah. It was, <laughs> why, why are you sleep? You might as well sleep naked. It was an accident. It wasn't on purpose. Oh, that's weird. What were you doing before you went to sleep? Nothing. So laying down. Carrots. I don't know about no carrots. That's what you look nah, like. He sounded now. like the, what you doing? Huh? Nothing. Uh, just nothing. hanging around. Oh, hanging around. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about like that, though? Like a big T. I think I would do that, and I'm going to keep it a buck with you to turn millennia on. I, I was going to say, you know what's funny? I feel like nobody should be doing that. No grown man should be doing that. It's just a weird look. Yeah. But I feel like you would do that, and for some reason, it'll start like a little giggle war and probably turn her on. Yeah. Oh. I definitely I think, think it would. I think that'll somehow Like in my head work. right now, I'm like, yo, I definitely I think mean, I would I'll try that. I'll smack his ass and be like, Dee, shorty. <laughs> that's the worry. If I go to the bottom of the refrigerator, oh, there's your asshole because the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It gives you room to put a Coke bottle inside of it again. That should be mad cute. I love sleeping in a big shirt. What was. And some shorts, though. What was your question before we leave? You are a lover of seltzer water and sparkling water. Yeah, but I'm coming out on my own. I wasn't going to get into that. Hot dogs. But they're making. Is it 7 Eleven? Yeah. It's making hot dog flavored. I did that, like, hot dog flavor sparkling water. Hot dog flavor. That's nasty. That's not nasty. So, you being the residential sparkling water drinker, yeah, you gonna try it? I would at least try it. I mean, I like hot dogs. I like Lizzie's, but I don't like sparkling water. But I don't want like pork sparkling water. <laughs> Ooh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, it gotta be, be beef. beef hot, <laughs> wouldn't it be beef flavored? It gotta be. Hey, yeah, yo, it gotta be haram. Catch a mayo. One last question. Shout out to the Joe Button Podcast. Yeah. There's a, they made a synthetic heart. We made, sorry, they made a synthetic pig. Pig. Uh-huh. Lab-grown pig. Uh-huh. Used his heart uh-huh. in a transplant. It's uh-huh. survived. To a little boy. Uh-huh. The boy survived up and walking. Everything's good. Uh-huh. One of the guys on the pod brought up a good point. If this becomes the new wave of technology where heart transplants are coming from. Animals? Lab grown pigs because okay. the pig has their, their closest heart to the human. Okay. What happens to the Muslim people that are against pork? Uh huh. They're good. Are they just not allowed to now have be participants of this? I think that's an easy debate. Um, I don't know. But I was so shocked and I'm like, wait, so now we have to find how you got to include them in something. No, I think it's easy. But, but, what, but is, why? They're feel, against eating pork. They're against the eating pork. This pork is but not But I don't a real think it's pork. just eat. That was my thing. But I don't think it was just eating. I, I, it is. It's, it's garbage. I think it's any, anything. Uh, Consuming. Any ingestion or anything of them inside of you, I think, is against it. No, I don't know. I, I, I no? would think it's just. Just eating? If I'm not mistaken, it's eating the shit. And to save a life, you could put a pork heart. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's I don't know. A just a good though. point that they. Yeah, it was a good point that they. It was a good was way like, to think about it, but I think if somebody there was like, yeah, it's so it makes me start eating. thinking, like you know, in the future as new stuff comes out, that maybe will borderline religious classic beliefs. I wonder where that's going to start heading because oh, it is a I life-saving feel, thing. Why do I feel like they probably wouldn't want to do that anyway because of their religion? But, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, not because of the pork <laughs> aspect. I don't know. But like the, the pork aspect. Oh, no, you have to have doctors. The have doctors. Um, no, I'm not saying they don't have doctors. Yeah, but that will keep them alive longer. So uh, if, your, if your take was... I mean, I guess the alternative is you just got to wait on the list longer and hope you get a match. Or just die. <laughs> if my option is to die, just give me the, give me the pig. Let me try. I feel like I wouldn't want to do it. I'd be like, no, 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 no. I don't want to go yet. Don't wanna... uh, wait, wait, let no, me tell you something. Wait, no. Let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell you something. She went with that one. I thought you was going to go with the, uh, the Frank Castle. Wait, no, 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 no. You never seen that one? No. Where he's, uh, Punisher? See. I didn't see that one. I gotta, I gotta put you on to that one. Yeah. That's the new one. That's the new one. Because I've seen the Punisher. I don't remember that scene. Got you. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in to That's Your Reality. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Will we be here next week? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stay <out>. tuned. <laughs> Make sure you send in. 
your questions to that's your reality at gmail.com or you could just DM us as that's your reality. Melody, why you mad? Just cause I like her pics don't mean I want her back. Melody, why you mad? I know I do dumb shit sometimes that make you want to spaz. Melody, why you mad? Just cause I like her pics don't mean I want her back. 